What supplies do you really need for cross stitch? Hi there, I'm Sarah with The Notorious Needle and I want to help you break the rules of conventional cross stitch so you can make whatever you want. The only supplies that you must have for cross stitch are fabric, needle, thread, scissors, and a pattern. Everything else is extra. Let's dive deeper into the basics of what you need for your first cross stitch. Fabric. A lot of new stitchers ask me, what is the best fabric for cross stitch? And I tell them, you'll want to start with Ada cloth. Ada is a cotton woven fabric that basically looks like a grid. It has really obvious holes and it makes the fabric look like a series of squares. 14 count Ada cloth is the most popular to start stitching with cross stitch. 14 count means that you can fit 14 stitches along one line of Ada cloth. The next thing you need is embroidery thread, but what is the best thread for cross stitch? Most stitchers start with six stranded cotton embroidery floss. Embroidery floss comes in hundreds of different colors. I primarily use DMC floss. This brand is color fast and the thread is nice and strong so it doesn't tear apart while I'm stitching. Skeins of DMC floss are about eight and a half meters long and each strand of floss has six individual strands that you take apart to stitch with. You don't stitch with the whole thing, you actually use two or maybe even three strands in your cross stitch embroidery. There's other types of floss that you can stitch with. Specialty threads like satin floss or metallic floss can give your project a beautiful texture and shine, but they're more complicated to work with. So I could recommend you start with six stranded cotton embroidery floss. So it's obvious that you need a needle for cross stitch, but what kind of needle is best? Cross stitchers use tapestry needles. We don't actually use embroidery needles most of the time. A tapestry needle is a needle that has a very long eye, so you can thread multiple strands of thread through the eye at once, and it has a blunt tip. This tip will help you stitch on the Ada cloth, so you can more easily find the holes in the cloth without piercing the threads of the fabric. I use a size 24 tapestry needle for most of my cross stitch. If you're going to stitch smaller stitches, you'll want a size 26 tapestry needle. Next, you need scissors for cross stitch, but what are the best scissors? You'll need scissors for your fabric and you'll need embroidery scissors. Fabric scissors are larger and they are meant to only cut fabric. You wouldn't cut anything else with these scissors. Instead of getting a pair of expensive fabric shears, you could probably get away with something like regular kitchen shears. As long as they're new and you don't use them to cut anything but fabric, they'll work for a while. You may need to replace them sooner if they get dull. The next type of scissor you need is embroidery scissors. These scissors are smaller with a very pointy tip. They're meant to get very close to your embroidery for snipping the tail ends of your thread. Embroidery scissors are also very sharp and you'll want to use them for nothing but your embroidery. The last thing you need to have for your cross stitch is a pattern. Some cross stitchers stitch without a pattern. They just wing it and that's great. As a beginner, it's harder to do. So I do recommend that you have a pattern. I happen to have a bunch of patterns available free on my website when you sign up to become a Notorious VIP. The link is down below. A decent pattern will show you a picture of what the project looks like when it's completed. It'll also provide a grid that you can follow to stitch on your fabric and a list of all the colors that you need for the project. Keeping cross stitch supplies on hand is a great idea for beginners. It's easy for you to pick up your project and stitch whenever you want and soon you'll be sharing your beautiful needlework. There's a whole world of cross stitch supplies that I haven't even gotten into, like a needle threader or a needle minder, floss organizer tools, and big project organizers. Check out the Notorious Needle resources page for more recommendations on my favorite tools and supplies for cross stitch, and I will put the link down below. If you want to learn more about cross stitch, check out my cross stitch for beginners playlist here on YouTube. Stitch on!